Hello everybody and welcome back. We are here in our wonderful private suite that has been sponsored by Billy Harris for our programs that we are doing out here live in Nashville. So our next speaker is the wonderful Jonathan Green. We have learned from Jonathan Green in the past some fabulous things, but what he is really known for is Katie Cruz dolls, and we have not, I have not done a program with him on them. So we look forward to doing a lot with him in the future on Katie Cruz, but we are having a little mini program today on a collector's guide to cruise collecting and getting started and, and stuff like that. So if you are tuning in live with us, make sure to share the video and especially uh, feel free to comment and ask questions because we are here with the wonderful Jonathan Green. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, so glad to be here and thank you for this opportunity. So um, I'm going to start with sort of the basics. Um, this is the doll one, which was the first doll that Keita Cruza made. Um, this particular design is known as Fritzel, and uh, if you're familiar with my Facebook identity, it's Fritzel Cruz on Facebook. That's also my Instagram persona. And so this was the doll that she initially made for her uh, daughters so that they would have a healthful alternative to the porcelain dolls at the time. And this is... Uh, if you're collecting, this is like the doll to have. Mm -hmm. And particularly, you have to show here, but the early ones have sort of wide hips and that is a very desirable feature. So when you're really you know, getting into being a collector, this is the doll. Um, their doll was made for many, many decades. And this is an interesting one because this was her anniversary doll in 1951. So it's a copy of a doll they did in 1911, but this doll was done in 1951. It was the first time they were in Western Germany. After the war, she had sort of been locked into East Germany and they managed to move. And this is from that period. So this doll has slimmer hips and but it still has the doll one head which is sewn onto the body um, and so this the doll because it's a newer doll even though it's an anniversary doll would be cheaper than the earlier doll one so this is like a good sort of medium starter doll um, you could start doing dolls from this period um, the other thing here is this is a doll that was done for katie cruz 100th anniversary this is a UFDC souvenir. This again has the doll one head. Uh, it has a cloth body that has um, floppy arms and legs. It doesn't have the disc joints. But the UFDC souvenirs are often a really good way to start collecting K2 Cruza. Um, and here's another example. I have to stand up for this, but these are Bambino dolls that were done as club exclusives. And these dolls, the one with the straw hat and the one with the snow suit, um, were very limited editions. They were done, sold through the club. So they're usually in the $250 range. But this doll, which is the same doll and just as adorable, was a UFDC souvenir. And those you can find on eBay in the $60 to $80 range. So again, it's a really good starter doll. Um, I love these dolls because they're small. They make a good travel doll. They have a wire armature body, so they're poseable, so they're great for photography. Um, they're also a good size for sewing, which was the original intention. When this Bambino doll was done in the 1920s, she wanted a doll that little girls could learn to sew on. Um, and then, again, other dolls that some of you may be familiar with, these are um, the Daumlinchen or uh, basically Thumbelina doll, um, which has been made since the 1950s and hundreds of different styles, girls, babies. These are very special limited editions of Max and Moritz, the German children's book characters. And I love the fact he fell here, but it has a little fishing pole with the uh, with a little chicken, chicken, roast chicken on it. Because oh, it's one so of the parts of the story is that they use fishing poles to steal chickens out of the uh, heart. Um, and then 
to bring it up to today, this is what the company is making today. They're still in business. These are miniature versions of the German child. They have a poured paper mache head that is hand painted. The bodies are hand stuffed. Um, all the clothes are natural materials. So this is also another option for when you're starting Katie Cruza is the modern dolls are just as lovely as some of the old ones. And um, you know, they will be the investment of tomorrow. Absolutely. Jonathan Green, it is so fun. You are in the sales room um, out here. It is so fun to see your wonderful examples. Now, these examples that you just showed us, are they for sale? Yes. Uh, everything that was on the table here is for sale. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you know, I always get new stock and different stock at various times, but uh, if you're interested, um, you can always contact me. Send him a message through Facebook, everybody. Mm -hmm. This was such a treat. Jonathan, and thank I you. I guess I should say this. If you can't, haven't noticed, I love to talk about dolls and I love to talk about Katie Cruza. So you can message me through Facebook about anything and I will be glad to talk about it. Or Edith Flack Ackley. Or Edith Flack Ackley or Raggedy Ann and Andy or uh, you name it, I'll blab on it. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> okay. Jonathan Green, thank you for this wonderful sure. program. We so enjoyed it. We are going to be back next with Michael Canadas and David Robinson. Jonathan Green, it was fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.